Hey, it's John Eugenics Grandpa, and I've got some pickleball paddles to review, but we can't do it in weather like this. So let's go inside. Okay, now that we're inside, let's unbox these paddles and see what we have here. These are new Peepo pickleball paddles. And let's see, this is the MX-36, which is, I believe the MX-36 is kind of branded as an intermediate level paddle. And like the previous set that I reviewed, it comes with a carrying case. I mean, most people are probably not going to use this carrying case if they have their own bag. And it comes with a pair of indoor balls, or rather indoor balls and outdoor balls, which I have played with these and I like them a lot. Uh, I think they're, they're, some people like their balls a little bouncier and some people like them to be a little stiffer so that they don't bounce as much indoor uh, and these outdoor balls are good i've mentioned this before if you're in a cold climate and you want to play with a ball that's not going to crack easily in cold climates these have um, a very they're like just just right for that so let me put these aside here they're probably going to roll off the table all right so that's done and just like with the four paddle set that I reviewed, you get some extra grip tape here. Helps you identify the difference between the two paddles. And then we have a pair of paddles here. Uh, before we actually unwrap one of these, let's take a look at the specification information that they have here. So again, the MX-6, it is 15 by almost 8 inches wide and half an inch thick so it's close to 14 millimeters it weighs between 7.6 and 7.8 ounces it's got a fiberglass face with a polypropylene honeycomb interior and like i said you get two paddles one bag two indoor balls two outdoor balls and the grip tapes and yeah like i said this is on their website kind of marketed towards the intermediate player, or maybe you could say this is their intermediate level paddle. They do make pro level paddles. Uh, if you don't know, they sponsor Frank Anthony Davis, who's kind of one of the premier singles players. I'm trying to get the signature paddle from them. We'll see what happens. And there we go. So the surface of this is quite smooth. So if you are used to a paddle that's going to give you grip and spin, uh, I don't think this, this one is it. it. They do tend to have these paddles, these new Peepo paddles, do tend to have a larger handle as well, which I like. I'm currently using a Gearbox CX-14, and the handle what felt a little small to me. And so I actually overwrapped it to get a little extra uh, diameter on the paddle, um, on the paddle handle. Feels good in my hand. Uh, I like this design as compared to the last ones that I reviewed. And I'm very happy with the way this looks and how it has come out. So the center of balance, as you can see, is right along here. So it really gives it... It feels a little head heavy. If that weight were balanced a little bit closer to the handle, I think that would be very nice. You've got your edge guard here that helps it out. Again, fiberglass surface, honeycomb interior. This isn't a very grippy surface, but I think for most players who are either just starting out or are looking to have a, a better paddle than what you pick up at you know one of those beginner sets you pick up at a big box store this is going to do better for you all right so wardrobe change and a few days later we're on to another 
set of pickleball paddles. Let's see what we have here. This is a double set that I got. Two different sets. And we're going to take a look at these. Now this is the MX25 set. Again, marketed as an intermediate paddle. Comes in the carrying case. Comes with, a lot of these come with the same kind of setup, whether it's two or four paddles. They all come with outdoor balls and indoor balls. So as you might have guessed, I have plenty of pickle balls now. Okay, so before I actually talk about this paddle, let me go through the specifications here. This is the MX25, like I said, again, about 15 and a half inches by a little over seven three quarters and it says 0.51 inches so we're in the 13 14 millimeter range here as far as thickness uh, now this says the paddle weighs 1.63 pounds that's got to be a misprint because uh you're not playing with a one pound paddle a one and a half pound paddle that's got to be for both of the paddles <laughs> uh so yeah you know, eight out, which actually is, hmm, hmm, that seems a little heavy. Anyway, uh, a fiberglass face, polypropylene honeycomb, and I mentioned the balls and the paddles. So let's open this up and see what we have. All right, so this is more of a gray pattern that you can see here gray geometric pattern let me pull this protective plastic off of the handle here so i can get a sense of the handle coincidentally i uh, played with a new pickleballer the other day it was his fourth time playing and he still hadn't taken the plastic wrap off of his paddle and he had a new peepo paddle okay so this one hmm this one feels a little more top heavy than the other one. I'm willing to bet that that center of gravity, yeah, see? So that center of gravity for this paddle is more here. Let me go get the last paddle, pull out the previous paddle and we'll look at them side by side. Okay, so while I was grabbing the MX-36 that we were talking about earlier, I did weigh this thing and it's somewhere between 7.8 and eight ounces and depending on where i put it on my scale kind of depends on where the weight is but it's probably good to say this is this is an eight ounce paddle it does feel heavier in my hand than the mx36 i mean it definitely feels heavier let's lo look at a couple of the differences here i think you'll see that the thickness is pretty much the same uh, the handles the mx36 kind of has a more, I guess you would say, premium handle to it because it has the uh, colored stitching to match the graphics. I mean, I guess technically you could say that the stitching on this matches the graphics on this as well. This specifically says it's USA Pickleball approved, whereas I don't see anything in the literature or on this paddle that says it's USA Pickleball approved. Giving it the knuckle test, you can hear there, they both have a good sweet spot in the middle, but when you get out to the outsides of this MX-36, you can hear the difference in the sweet spots. This MX-25, again, when you move out to the edges, you can hear a difference in it. So if you're looking for an intermediate paddle, I think these are a good choice. I have played with new Peepo paddles before and I don't have any complaints ab about them and I'll be trying them out this weekend when I'm playing in my rec league and if anything kind of pops up that I noticed that needs to be mentioned whether good or bad I'll probably make a short about it but other than that I think good recommendations buy them in a two or four paddle set you're going to get the best value for them and 
If you like content like this, don't forget to paddle that like button and let me know so that I will make more content like this. Thanks for watching. I'm John, your Gen X grandpa, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.